Alright, yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. I just got home from college for the day. Getting ready to sit down and watch Houston play Cincinnati, because that, that's going to be more exciting than the Jets and the Bills. Uh, but we've got new flashbacks out. We've got the 48-hour Dante Hit Hitner. And I was going to say, see, now it's just like, it's just routine. You don't even say Dante Whitner anymore. It's Dante Hitner now. You just drop the W from now on. Okay, but... Martellus Bennett is the set, which I will probably be doing just because he's on the Patriots now, and my tight ends are some complete garbage. Every single one I use is just some hot trash, so I need to get a new tight end. Also, we have the new solo challenge. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the Martellus Bennett when I'm going to get it, because I had a whole let me get myself a new team going, and... I wasted a bunch of coins because I bought out a bunch of players thinking one thing about chemistry, and then I was like, I'm stupid, that's not how chemistry works, and then I had to sell them, and then I bought another card, and I found the card that I actually wanted cheaper, so it was just a long night last night of not actually getting what I wanted really for the whole time, but... Here we go. In week two of the 2013 seasons, the Vikings pulled ahead with a field goal, but Bennett landed the win for the Bears with a last-second touchdown. Get a field goal, then stop the Bears from scoring to get the to get the win and earn a flashback badge. Expires Saturday, September 17th. These flashback uh, solos actually expire pretty quick. I should probably play that tonight. Uh, and now let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the Martellus Bennett set, and then we'll go look at the prices. So like I said, you guys will probably see a video here soon enough of me knocking out this set. Uh, there should be a video of my updated team tomorrow. Uh, but we've got the first collectible going for 1775. I'll try to do rough math in my head. Eight, okay, so we're up to 40,000 with the 7 catches collectible being 23. We're just rounding this math. So we're at 53,000 after the 76 reception. 50, 65. Oh my gosh, I couldn't do, I can't even do simple math after college. Man, school's got my brain all sorts of confused. So 83,000 for this Martellus Bennett. That's actually not half bad. I can actually get that and still have a decent amount of coins. Uh, but let's go see what, uh what he's going for on the auction, because 83000 is pretty cheap, so he's got to be going for less. The Jared Cook that's been out forever is all, is almost that price still, so that's kind of confusing to me. But we'll take a look at him first. Compare, I guess we'll compare him to the Jared Cook price. Programs. Uh, flashbacks. Alright, so Jared Cook's down to 50k. He was at like 70 yesterday. That was ridiculous. Okay, so Martellus Bennett going for about 82k. I'll probably lurk and try to snipe some collectibles here tonight. Uh, see if I can get any good deals on them with the flashback bundles being out. But I won't... I'm not going to assume I'm going to really snipe anything too much. But uh, getting this card will definitely be in a video soon, I think. I might just end up buying it off the auction instead of doing the set. Because I always do the sets. Uh, but he has 81 speed, 82 strength, 83 run block, 86 catching, 83 release, 79 route or yeah route running, um, 84 catching traffic, and 88 spec catch. Pretty decent card. Uh, let's see here, carrying that's pretty good, so he won't get he won't fumble. His pass and run block are pretty darn good um, compared to what I usually have. 78 trucking. He's got good uh, stiff arm. Not bad spin and juke move, not bad impact blocking. So definitely a really good blocking tight end for us, which is what the Patriots are kind of using him as right now until Brady gets back. Let's see here, good stamina and injury. So all in all, a pretty good card. I'll definitely be adding him to the team eventually, and I need to pair him up with someone who's a chain mover chemistry, whether that's a wide receiver or a quarterback. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with but I think quarterback I think wide receivers can be chain movers I'm not 100% sure maybe they can't be but you guys get my point I'm gonna pay, I need to pair them up if I want to buy the card I gotta pair them up chemistry wise with someone get that boost in catching through accuracy short and through accuracy mid he may just be paired up with a quarterback I think you just pair them up with quarterbacks if I'm if I'm not mistaken I think that's how it works um 
So let's take a look now at the Dante Whitner. Strong safety. And he is the big hit chemistry. He's out for 48 hours, going for 282 k right now. Pretty much 300 k for him. Uh, not worth it for a 90 overall strong safety. I've seen his stats. They're not anything. They're pretty good, but they're not anything too impressive. Uh, 88 speed, 88 excel, 91 play recognition, 87 tackle, 76 man coverage, 88 zone, 91 pursuit, and 92 hit power. He gives the big hitter chemistry, which is what a lawyer Malloy. Who's the free safeties that give big hit? Oh, Reggie Nelson and another guy that you don't think of as a big hitter, but there's another free safety that's a big hit chemistry, but there aren't a lot of big hitter chemistries right now, and honestly, just Dante Whitner and Lawyer Malloy really are the only big hitters that have the chemistry. Uh, Whitner returned an interception 76 yards to give the Bills an early 14-0 lead. They went on to beat the Bucks, uh 33-20. Let's see here, 64 catching, eh, not the greatest. What's his, 89 jumping's pretty good, but he is only 5'10", so that kind of hurts him a little bit in that. He can do a little bit of pass rushing, uh, decent stats there. 91 pursuit is pretty good. Uh, injury and stamina are decent. The hit power, obviously the big stat. And if you pair him with one of the big hitting free safeties, you get a 93 hit power for Dante Whitner. But guys, that's going to do it for the new flash packs. Uh, drop the video like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I think that's when I'll release my new team update. It'll probably be released in the morning or something like that, uh, or maybe later tonight. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.